Caitlin Taylor has appeared in more than 100 TV shows and movies over her five-decade career, including her Emmy Award-winning performance in the TV series The Practice, or when she played Reese Witherspoon's witty professor in Legally Blonde, and her role as Charlie Sheen and John Cryer's brutally honest mom in Two and a Half Men. And now she's starting in the Dark News series. It's getting a lot of buzz. My wife and I watched it last night. My wife's face was in a pillow. She couldn't watch. It's incredible. Mr. Mercedes is based on the Stephen King novel of the same name. Well, Holland plays Bill Hodges' neighbor, a retired detective whose life has gone to shambles after being unable to solve a brutal mass murder in his own city. I have read this trilogy of books. They are spectacular. And you are so terrific. Mm -hmm. You are a much-needed lightness yes. in, in what is otherwise a very dark series. What attracted you? Well, I actually attribute that to David Kelly's decision. I don't know. I didn't ask him why he did it, but he felt this when it goes from the page to the stage mm -hmm. to the screen that the world would no longer imagined by the reader would become so dark that it needed some some character who was dependably real and human and light and mm -hmm. fun. And so he put this character in. So, so it's not actually in the, in the novel. And not I, and in you, the novel. And I was watching, and your character comes right at the right time because I, you know Kyle is right. You start to it's, it's kind of scary. It is. Yeah, it is scary. And then you can't stop laughing. Well, <laughs> that my character has yeah. wonderful exactly. light things to do, but nobody else does. Right. This is a dark, scary show, and I'm. It's not to my taste. Frankly, I am scared by these things. Sure. I don't want to be scared. Is that right? Some people like it. I think they're rehearsing for what they regard as, you know, some terror to come, like any minute. Right. <laughs> yeah. You've oh, obviously no. seen our show. I've seen, I've seen the news. What I love about the, the show is... this morning. And of course, yes, that's very different kind of scary. <laughs> Sometimes you watch these shows, they take forever to get war to warmed up. In the first scene of the first yeah. episode, yeah. it'll blow your mind. It's really incredible. But would you be at all frightened by it if you didn't know the characters? Because it's the characters that draw you in. 100%. Right away, you get introduced to two characters who you don't see ever again. Yeah. But you, you're so interested in them and captured by mm -hmm. them. And then when something happens, it's infinitely more effective One because of the, of the characters. You're right. That's One cool thing point. I love about your character is her brutal honesty and brashness. I mean, she's kind of in your face. Uh, did you have to channel that, or is that part of you? Well, <laughs> actually, it's, it's very it's very similar to a character I played for David Kelly before, which is probably why he picked me for this and why I'm grateful that he picked me for that and anything. It's a character I played on The Practice, this judge who was a very frank and, and um, sort of sexually active lady sure. in her middle years. And I am well beyond that now, but this woman is still making passes at people. Which I think is important I, to watch. You know, I watch it, I'm like, here, here. Yes, right. Yeah, I like it. And I was like, thank you, David Kelly, for <laughs> keeping me alive in that world. You've had such a long, successful career. We were naming all of your projects. Is there anything you haven't done that you've always wanted to do? Yeah, what's next? Is it pro wrestling? What are you going to do? You can do anything. A death scene. A death scene. Really? It just came to me. You've never a had death one. Scene. You, know, you never know what you think until you hear what you say. Uh -huh. And I have never played a death scene. I'm speechless, so, I think. <laughs> Mr. Kelly. <laughs> Listen, that Mercedes is around. Wow. Yeah. The, the fact is, if anybody gets close to the lead character, they are in a sort of jeopardy. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. In the Stephen King piece, don't you think? Of course, oh, absolutely. Look, the shiny, dun, dun, it's, dun. Uh, the stand. It, it's so interesting to because your partner, Sarah Paulson, she, I think, is sort of the queen of horror right now. She She's taking it. it. So what does she I don't think know of how the project? She does it. What's it like between the two of you with this? Well, I, I just, I just uh, find her remarkable because she's in a, a horror series that has a different every year. She plays a different character. Mm -hmm. It's a whole new world every year. But this year and last year, she was always running, screaming, being chased, being threatened. Her life threatened every episode. And I don't know how she does it, but she does. Wow. She seems to thrive on it. Well, you both thrive, and we're so lucky to have you both Thank you. active in this genre. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Holland Taylor. Nice to meet you. Always a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mercedes premiering tonight on AT&T Audience Network, also available to stream on DirecTV. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.